Okay, so it looks like we're in a little bit of a, a little town that exists underneath. So here you can see it's quite solid up there. Uh, that's what most of the Undercity's like, it's just like a, a, a roof over everything. And some people actually live down here, which is quite funny. Anyway, I think uh, the quest takes us up here, which is pretty cool. I think usually this would have been much harder to do, but the Amphar aren't fighting us, which is excellent. Usually you would have been fighting a lot already. Ah, so here we are, we're fighting Afflicted now, they seem to have taken over the Undercity. Well, we're not fighting them yet, but you can see a, a some Afflicted over there. Quite a few of them, actually. I'll try and avoid those if I can. Ah, there's Master Togo and Jinzo. So Jinzo went a bit crazy and ran down here on his own. Wow, the water is very loud here. Okay, Togo, hi. Remain alert at all times while you're here in the city, Tom. You've already told me that. Ah, I cannot escape the stench of death and decay. Make it end. Ah, the horror, the complete devastation. I knew it was bad, but I did not think it would be like this. Whole families wiped out. Innocent children left to wander the streets. If only I'd become a monk, perhaps I could have done something to prevent this. Crap. So, Jinzo, uh, you've gone a bit crazy, my old friend. Uh, and I always thought Panaku was the crazy one, but there you go. Uh, Togo, what do you have to say about this? Thank you, Tom. This information is helpful indeed. I'm also relieved to say that my trip to the palace provided worthwhile. I believe I've found the place where this sickness originated. It is a very dangerous place, even at the best of times and the Emperor has now ordered it sealed in an attempt to stop the spread of the plague. I have spoken with the guard there, however, and he knows to expect you. I will stay here with Jinzo until he is himself once more, but I will catch up with you shortly. Do not worry, Tom, we will not be alone. Menlo, a talented former student of mine, will be joining us there, and I am certain he has brought more help. Okay. So, let's go speak to this gate guard. How far away is he? Oh, he's all the way up there. Okay, I hope Jinzo gets better. I can't actually remember if you meet Jinzo again after this. Maybe he just does go... Whoa! Oh. Okay, so the afflicted are fighting something. I don't know what they are fighting. Maybe some guards or something. I'm just going to try and... See, now I don't know what to do because if I try and sneak past and then they catch me while I'm fighting someone else, I'm screwed. I'm... And there's a boss over there. Okay, I'm going to try and go north because I can see there's a bridge on the other side. Let's fight this assassin here. Oh, there's a little rat! I never knew there were rats. Look at that little rat. Okay, it's ran off. Whoa, so you can see that big blue light there. Uh, that's what people call a Jesus beam. Uh, the skill's called a uh, Ray of Judgment. Uh, it, w it used to be a really crap skill, but about a year... No, over a year ago now. Fuck, how time flies. Yeah, uh, well over a year ago now. Uh, they actually updated it to like do loads of damage and just it basically just blasts the crap out of anything there. And wow, look at that! That's just that's just lovely, isn't it? Flowing down there, wonderful. Yeah, so um, that's a really, really, really popular skill. It's a monk smiting skill. And uh, speaking about the guardian earlier, it's actually been confirmed that the guardian gets that skill, which is pretty cool. For any of you who have played it before, that might be good news to you because lots of people love the ray of judgment skill. A lot of teams have people involved teams of just loads of monks and they just all cast Ray of Judgment together and it just creates this huge beam that just blows the crap out of everything. Alright, so what were these afflicted fighting? Oh my god, there's loads of them. I'm scared. I'm scared! And they've slowed me down so much. Did you see that? So if you look down here, uh, I can't actually get down there yet, but there's these Kappa here. There's a load of Kappa, I think these are called Elder Kappa, uh, and they're basically Kappa that just decide that they want to live in the sewers. Um, and there's loads of them down here in the Undercity, and they, they drop this thing called uh, an Ancient Kappa Shell, which you can get some cool items from a collector down here. Is everyone alive? Are we all okay? I think we are. So yeah, this is the only place you can find those Kappa. Ah, another boss. The Afflicted Miju. Oh, something interesting about the uh, afflicted bosses here in the city. A lot of them have got names like this, the afflicted Miju, or the afflicted something. And usually the names are names of characters that you've met in quests and stuff down in Shinji. 
Uh, so I think the idea is that a lot of them were former students or villagers or people who lived on Xingji and they came here to try and fight the plague and they actually died and um, yeah sorry and they actually died and became afflicted themselves uh, which is quite depressing but it's quite interesting every time you see a boss it's quite fun to just sort of have a little look at what they were possibly called before alright okay so sorry about that uh, they're all dead though so let's keep going I didn't cheat I promise I was just talking to someone uh, we're almost here so cool hopefully I can avoid these afflicted you can see uh, now that we're getting closer to this area that's sort of been quarantined off um, lots of afflicted are around here already so what's going on another resurrection shrine I think the guards just up these stairs here actually yeah, there he is, Guardsman Pi. So, that wasn't too bad in the Undercity this time. Usually it's worse because there's Amphar crawling about there as well. What's down there? Ah, it just looks like someone's front. Front area to a load of houses. Anyway, Guardsman Pi. By order of the Emperor, none shall pass. An Imperial Herald already came by with a letter from the Emperor granting Master Togo entry. I'm not about to defy the will of the Emperor by telling you not to go, but I fear that that is the only thing that awaits you past this point is death. I hope I'm wrong and that you can stop this plague before it destroys more lives. Are you sure you want to continue? We were trained by Master Togo himself, of course. You can enter this area at your own, at your own risk. The Celestial Ministry absolves itself of all responsibility for your safety. Yeah, yeah, let's go already. Alright, here we are, next cutscene. Again, sorry about Suru here. Uh, I will try and stop that from happening. It might not be so bad, who knows. Okay, so what are we looking at? This is the afflicted area. Looks like there's two living people here again. Kind of like the start of the Zen Daijun mission, actually. Two people. They even look the same. Well, the woman looks the same. What the? Run! Yes, there's afflicted. They're going to chase you down and kill you. Oh dear, they've surrounded you. The gods have mercy on our souls. The gods won't have mercy on your souls. So what should happen here is these people should die and the envoys should come and take their souls to somewhere. Oh, are they going to die? They might not die. Ah, oh, maybe we're going to save them. But when they die, the envoys should come and take their souls to the afterlife. But this affliction doesn't seem to let people do that, does it? Oh no, one of them's dead, the other one's praying. Uh, this affliction seems to turn people into these afflicted monsters. Does that mean their souls are still in their bodies and that the envoys can't get to them? Are we too late? Not yet. But we must not allow those plague beasts to spread their affliction any further. If they do, everyone in this province will be in danger. <laughs> Little does he know I am afflicted as well. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting an, an interesting bit to the cutscene. What is this? Who is that woman? Why is it all grainy? She looks very old and haggard, doesn't she? And who is that? Is she blind? She didn't have any pupils. Did you guys notice that? Ah, I see great things in your future. Yours will be a story told by generations. Your swords will be sought by many. Nonsense. Yes, yes. You will do things no other man would dare. Your name will live on for a thousand years. Shut your mouth, old fool. Look for fortune to come your way. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. He kicks the barrel and coins come out. There's a barrel in the city that when you look in it that you can, if you look, zoom the camera in, you can actually see a pile of coins in there. It happened in Camadan as well for a little while, but the, the barrel's been removed now, I think. So, what was all that about? Uh, please, everyone, do remember that fortune teller. Uh, we'll see her again in this campaign, but seriously, do remember her. She's seriously important, uh, especially when we get to Nightfall. 
So, it looks like one of our henchmen's left the party now. Headmaster Vang. Looks like he's not with us. Let's uh, let's see what's going on. So, let's add someone else, shall we? Sue? Yeah, I like Sue. Because she summons big minions. Let's speak to Guardsman Pi. What is going on? Guess he came in with us. Well, I cannot say I think this is a wise choice. But for all sakes, I pray you succeed. Dwayna, keep you safe. 3,000 experience. Very cool. We've almost leveled up again. I'm still super low level, guys. I mean, I'm only level 14. Uh, in that, you probably know, well, you might have noticed, uh, when I did all that super speeding up earlier, I was dying all over the place. Master Togo has sent word to Menlo of Tyria. He is Togo's prize student from years ago. In fact, Togo has not held another student in such high regard until you came along. Hopefully, he can help us in our time of need. What would you like to know? Uh, what is going on here? You are here to join up with Menlo, one of Togo's former students. With any luck, Menlo has made haste in his travels and brought company. The plague is causing more damage than anyone expected. Okay, so let's go and let this could be where the plague's coming from, from within the city. Uh, let's do it. Let's hope Master Togo and that is there. You can see there's a really long mission timer on this mission. Uh, it's because it's quite a unique mission. It's quite oh, it's quite a cool mission actually. So uh, I will pause it while we do that. But I've just realised I didn't read the description. So let's read this. We're at Vizna Square, the local quarter. Once home to the famous assassin Vizu, inhabitants of this neighbourhood successfully petitioned the Celestial Ministry in the year 1396 to rename it in honour of the woman who had helped bring down Shiro the Betrayer. Uh, remember Vizu. She uh, was a character. If you go back and watch the, I'm not saying you have to, but if you go back and watch the trailer now, um, you will see Vizu there in that trailer, the assassin that helped bring down Shiro. Uh, but yeah, I will cut out this stupid long timer and see you guys in a second. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Vizina Square. Let's go in. Cool. So we've got a huge party here. You'll see. Uh, let's speak to Togo, so let's see what's going on. And there's two Canthan guards as well. Now that we own Cantha proper, you will need to keep your wits about you. I brought you here with me because you have shown great promise, but the danger will increase exponentially from here on. Stay with me, and w I will do what I can to aid you, as I hope you will aid me in tracking down the root of this plague. Let's speak to the Canthan guard. I haven't had a day's rest in months. Stay alert, we can't be everywhere, these are dangerous times. Okay, and every day we lose valuable men. Okay, so we've got another big long timer that we've got to wait for. Uh, I don't know, oh, we came through that gate there. Okay, and when the timer ends, we'll go through this one. Okay, here we go, the time is finished. Uh, the most recent outbreak of the plague originated in this district. I've asked Brother Menlo to meet me here. Perhaps with his help, we can determine the true nature of this affliction. Come, students. He should be in Vizina Square. Okay, so are we going to meet Menlo now? This is, this is the square itself, I do believe. But he doesn't look like he's here. Oh, dear. Okay, so we'll just wait here for him. Is that the plan, Togo? Togo, where are you? Oh, he's up on the steps. I might have just missed some dialogue from him. My bad if I did. Where is Togo? Where is Menlo, sorry? I always confuse Menlo and Togo's names. <laughs> they don't even sound... A oh, shit. The afflicted are coming. Hold out until Menlo arrives. Menlo, where are you? And I think this is a good time to cut. Okay, so here we are, back with Peter. We're going to learn uh, what exactly has been holding up Brother Menlo. So, here we are. We're back at the Bejakin Pier. Remember, we were here just not too long ago um, on Tom. Uh, but this is taking place... We've gone back in time a little bit here. This is taking place probably as Tom's running around trying to figure out uh, information about the plague and talking to Yijo's mother and stuff. Uh, so yeah, here's Doc Han Quang Nai, he's got something to say to us. Welcome to Camp the Peter. We are in dire need of heroes right now. A terrible plague has spread across our city and threatens to engulf us all in its chaos. It's noble of you indeed to come all this way to help our people. 
Are you Peter? Listen, a bunch of other foreigners just left the Buck Deck Byway. They say they were going to look for someone named Master Togo. One of them, Menlo I think he said his name was, left a message for you to meet up with them. He was a nice enough fellow, but I was a little distracted by that sassy blonde he had with him. Thanks, I'll go find them. And uh, yeah, you might have guessed it, the sassy blonde is uh, Sin, who's in a bit of a relationship with Menlo. Uh, and... Eve has come with us and so's Devonna. So basically all the, the main heroes that did prophecies uh, have all come with us now and they're going to be going through factions with us. So here's the, here they all are. I think they have dialogue to say actually and I might have just missed it. So here's Menlo. The troubles here could easily spread across the ocean to Ascalon if we're not careful. I thank Duena that Master Togo's message reached us before the plague did. Here's Sin. Oh, Jamai's talking. She says... Ah, my good friend, it is excellent to see you. Your timing is most fortunate. Give me a hand with these things, would you? Whoa, okay. Alright. So stuff's fighting us already. Men... Oh, no, that's what they already said. Let's do it. Boom. Okay, so we do a lot more damage as uh, Peter, obviously, because we're max level. So, Jemai says, thank you for your help. These vile creatures are everywhere. It seems no place is safe. Perhaps with your help, all that can change. Jemai, it's been too long. Menlo, as soon as I heard you were expected. I came as soon as I heard you were expected. It's good to see you. Sin says, that's Jemai. Menli, Menlo, he's a girl. All those stories about your old friend growing up and you never told me Jemai is a girl. You never asked Sin and I don't see that it matters. So this is one of Menlo's old friends from his childhood. Jemai says, ah, the stories, there are so many, eh, Menlo? I swear, it seems that looking back, there was not a day we were apart. Not a day apart, says Sin. Listen, lady, he's, he may not be much, but that monk is mine. Don't even think about it. Menlo said, now Sin, calm down. Oh, Menlo, you got yourself a little girlfriend, how sweet. Little girl, lady, this little girl will show you a big pain if you're not careful. Yes, I imagine you give Menlo quite the pain. Menlo has his hands full, doesn't he, said Aiden. Sin has an amazing ability to make friends, doesn't she? So these two back here just kind of start chatting to themselves. Sin, Gemini, please. We have important matters to deal with and we must work together. I love Aiden. He's so cool. I find it hard to breathe in this sprawling mass. There are too many people and not nearly enough trees. I believe Menlo was right to bring us here. I just wish that you would have warned me that this city could be such a well city. If Sin doesn't strangle him first, I might put an arrow in his rear if we're stuck here much longer. Menlo's right, let's focus on our task. You all came to Camphor to help us fight this plague. We must find Master Togo and learn how you can be best aid this effort. Master Togo awaits us inside the city. Let's go. So, who else haven't we talked to? We didn't speak to Demona yet. Demona's like the leader. When I was a child, my father used to tell me great tales of passing over the Shiver Peaks when he served with Ascalon's Chosen. My father would never believe me... If, would never believe I came all the way to Canther. I hope you can see me from the mists and is proud of me. Every enemy crushed beneath my hammer is another tribute to his memory. I just hope I can speak to them all before they all go through the portal. Come back. Who else do I want to speak to? Did we speak to Eve yet? The stench of death is all over this city. Pleasant, is it not? Coming to visit here was a much better idea than I thought. I think this might be my kind of place. A girl could get into all kinds of trouble around here. Dangerous trouble. And that's the best kind. Okay, so they've all gone through the portal. Uh, yeah, so now we're out in Kainang Center. That was a little bit rushed, but yeah, I can only read so fast. Um, we're out here now, so where, where's the quest we're going to? Welcome to Camper. We need to speak to Brother Menlo out in the Buck Deck Byway. Um, we've got to rush because our friends are in trouble. In grave trouble. In fact, you know what? I think I'll call this episode here. I'll end that. That gives me about two 15, 16 minute videos. Uh, yeah, and then I'll see you guys next time. Uh, and we'll get to Vizina Square and we will save Togo and see what that mission's like. So yeah, I'll see you all then. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.